second. You can see up a little bit, we were flat on our backs. And I recall that circling over the spacecraft were a couple of seagulls, and I've often wondered what happened to those seagulls. They must have been the most surprised birds in the world when that thing lit up. T minus 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. We have ignition sequence start. The engines are on. Four, three, two. Sideways shaking was unbelievable. The vibration was so intense you couldn't see the instrument panel. I thought we'd had it uh, during the launch. I was hoping that Frank Borman didn't have his hand on the abort controller. He, he said he took his hand off or he'd rather die than make a false abort. One minute after liftoff, the Saturn V is already supersonic. Well, the Saturn V is still the most powerful machine that man has ever devised. 20 tons of fuel a second, seven and a half million pounds of thrust. I think we were all surprised at how strong that thing was. <laughs> it had had two or three iffy missions before ours, but it was a piece of cake. It just worked beautifully. Unbelievable. Five engines in the first stage blast the Saturn V to seven times the speed of sound. The second stage cut in big bang. At 40 miles high, it's still accelerating. When you staged, you were throwing forward in the belts and then backward in the belts. And I thought I was being catapulted through the instrument panel. And the thrust looks good. All engines, all sources show that the stage is burning perfectly. The third stage fires twice. First, the boost into orbit. The second burn takes the crew of Apollo 8 where no men have ever been, deep space. There was no way that the Earth's gravity could hold us back any longer. 